Hello, hello everyone. This is Rhett from Vijikami and today we are going to get S rank on reach the coral convergence in chapter 4 of Armored Core 6. This is one of the toughest missions to get S rank on, mainly because of the boss fight at the end, who is arguably one of the toughest bosses in the game, if not the toughest at all. However, follow my build and my strategy here and you'll get that coveted S rank. For my weapons, I'm using the dual Zimmerman shotguns and dual stone needle launchers. This combination hasn't failed me yet and it makes most of the encounters in the game, honestly, quite trivial. This is great for the final boss of this mission as well. It can chip away at its AP as long as we can maintain a close distance with the boss. We'll get to the actual strategy of the fight once we get to that part of the mission. For my frame parts, I went with high AP and high defense parts. For my head part, I went with the AHJ124. For my core, I went with the VE40A. And with my arms, I went with the DFAR09 Tianlao. For my legs, I opted for the VE42A because it is the bipedal leg with the most AP. I could opt for a tank leg since those have higher APs, but I don't want to compromise my mobility for the final boss. You can choose a tank build if you want, but if you want to opt for my strategy, I suggest you use the VE42A instead. You can choose whichever inner parts you want for this mission. Just be sure to use a generator that has a high EN capacity. And with that, let's already right into this mission. Get to the objective marker ahead as soon as the mission begins. You'll have to fight two AC mini bosses here, V6 Mater Link and G3 Wu Huahai. But they shouldn't give you too much trouble. There are smaller AC enemies here as well. You can choose to eliminate them first, but it doesn't really matter. What really matters here is speed, and you'll want to eliminate every single enemy here as fast as you can. Once all enemies are eliminated, make your way to the end of this broken bridge here. And once this invisible barrier disappears, assault boost forward and get to the bridge right there. Once you make it to the end of this bridge, a grinder wheel AC will quickly make its way towards you. You can either fly past this enemy or eliminate it now since there's a chance of catching up to you later. And I just chose to deal with it. I could have done better here, but it's okay as long as I get to the next objective marker without healing, which is what I'll end up doing. So the run is still safe. We'll want to reserve using repair kits for the final boss fight. Just follow my path here, ignore all the enemies that are on the way. We want to get to the end of this area as quickly as possible and without receiving further damage. So once you make it to the objective marker, use the resupply station next to it. It's time to face the boss of this mission. Here we are, 621. Archimus will be here soon. Investigate before they arrive. This enemy is immensely challenging. It is fast and its attacks deal a ton of damage. Our strategy here is to remain in close distance with it, 
Then I fire my stun needle launches at it in succession, and I follow that with my Zimmerman shotguns. You should always remain mobile during this fight. I move horizontally when I am on the ground, and I take him through the air when it is too far away from me. Keep at this while continuing to fire your weapons at it until you deplete its AC. So once it falls, the mission's not over yet. Now it's time for phase two. Employ the same strategy here, stay close, keep firing your weapons in the same order as before, and most importantly, never, never stop moving. After a couple of shots, you'll finally defeat this incredibly arduous boss, and this mission is finally over. We were able to complete this mission in just about 6 minutes. We spent all 3 of our repair kits, and we still got our S rank. Just remember that when you die during the final encounter, uh, do not reload from the checkpoint. Instead, um, start from the beginning. Reloading from checkpoints discounts you from receiving the S rank in any mission at all, so can be tough, but you'll have to start all over again. That's it for this video. If this helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. It greatly, greatly helps us out. Hope you found this video informative. See you next time.